So to absolutely no surprise to me, NVIDIA stock ended up selling off all day today as the entire stock market did. And did we not call this out yesterday, guys? I mean, we nailed this call out to a T. NVIDIA opened up at around $107, popped to $109, and then we sold off for the rest of the day, closing down over 5%, under $100 per share, as all of the indexes, the Russell, the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P, ended up going down on the day. So we're going to do an update on Nvidia stock, the charts, what I'm looking to do plus more. So guys, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe and you might as well get your free stocks for Moomoo up to 20 stocks with at least a $100 deposit and your uninvested cash for a limited time, the clock's ticking, will earn up to 8.1% APY. So guys, use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash mumu. Get your money. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So like I said, this is no surprise to me at all because we literally broke this down yesterday. I showed you guys the charts and I told you there was a high likelihood that we were going to get more downside, more red in NVIDIA stock and in the entire stock market for that matter. And that's exactly what ended up happening today. NVIDIA stock went down over 5%. We closed at $98 per share. And it looks like now we're down even more after the bell, which we'll touch upon here in a second. And the entire stock market sold off as well. The Russell closed down 1.4%. The S&P 500 went down 0.7%. Now it's slipping even more after the bell. And look, this thing sold off the entire day. Triple Q did as well, as I'm sure you guys uh, would suspect, right? Down 1.1% on the day. Now down even more after the bell. So it's obvious what's going on and what we saw on the charts, right? At least it was obvious to me. We got a little bit of a relief rally in the markets on Triple Q and SPY, you guys see the little two, three day relief rally we got, maybe two and a half day relief rally. And now it's just obviously getting rejected at the 180 SMA on the one hour chart. The downtrend is clearly intact. We're putting in another lower high, which is not good overall. We're noticing that on SPY and on NVIDIA stock as well. I mean, I told you guys this yesterday, right? We can see clearly that we were downtrending for quite some time for about what, a couple weeks, whatever it may be. And we saw a nice sizable rally over the last day and a half from where we hit 90 bucks all the way up to 109. But you'll notice something in a second here. Let me actually draw out these lower highs first. So you guys notice all these lower highs. And you'll notice here this morning, we hit 109, like I said, at open, and that's where we hit after the bell yesterday. So what we're noticing here is a clear double top under the 180 SMA on the one hour chart here on NVIDIA stock and a dump off, right? So we got a double top under the moving average at a lower high, and now we're confirming the sell off with obviously uh, the dump off here, right? And one thing worth mentioning, which is not good for the bulls in the short term, we actually took out the lows from yesterday and we closed under them. So that's a sign that more selling could be coming. And now it looks like we're pretty much right at the closing price from Monday, right? Where we closed at 98, 99 bucks. So guys, if that breaks, if we go under 98 bucks tomorrow, which it looks like we're about to in the aftermarket, then we might be going to 90 bucks next. And from that point, the 80s, guys, the 80s is where we could be going. So it's definitely in the cards right now for NVIDIA stock, no doubt. It's a battle in the mid 90s for sure, which was resistance all throughout March into May. So it's a battle right here, no doubt. But if we break that, you know, break that support. It's going to slip even more. And that's where the patient investors out there, the patient traders, that's where they're uh, going to be able to make money over the long term, in my opinion, right? If we're able to get the shares anywhere from the low mid 80s, right? In the 70s, even, that would be a glorious opportunity 
in my personal opinion, when it comes to NVIDIA and full disclosure, I'm long NVIDIA. I own the stock and I was against owning the stock for months during this time period here, right before the split. After the split, I was telling you guys, be careful. It's going to pull back. I've seen this before and here we are, guys. So I wasn't always all about NVIDIA, right? You know, loading the boat on it because I thought it was overvalued. But now as it's coming down, it's becoming more reasonable. And, you know, if it gets down to that 70, 80 range, kind of under where we were in March through May, that'd be a very good opportunity in my opinion. And I don't know how long the stock's going to be down for, realistically, considering we have earnings coming up in, in, in exactly three weeks from today. So not, you know, next Wednesday, the Wednesday after that, but the Wednesday after that, we're going to get NVIDIA's earnings. And, you know... <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be selling off for much longer, man. We might get a huge rally into earnings, maybe after earnings, right? By that point, maybe the stock market as a whole would have turned around, which would only fuel uh, the upside for NVIDIA. So what do you guys think about it? Are you buying? Are you not buying? Are you holding? Are you selling? Let me know down below in the comments kind of what your situation is and you know what your plans are with NVIDIA. And by the way, if you want to join my mailing list, I'm actually sending you for free every Monday morning, every week, my top three stocks right to your inbox, guys. No BS, no sugarcoating, no spamming, just straight up stocks and charts. So use that link down below, put your first name and your email address and boom, every Monday morning for free, you'll get my top three stocks right to your inbox, guys. Make sure to go sign up for that. And yeah, we'll see how it goes with NVIDIA in the short term. Now it looks like we're about to go under 98 bucks, uh, you know, after the bell. If I zoom in, you guys can see we're at 98.10. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And yeah, it's not looking pretty for the bulls in the short term. And with that, you know, it's that that's what if you're a long term bull, you want to look for for buying opportunities when there's weakness in the short term. Right. Which is what we're getting right now. So what do you guys think? Again, let me know your plans in the comments about, you know, NVIDIA, what you're looking to do. And overall today, it was not a pretty day for the stock market. We had stocks like Airbnb, they reported earnings. They went down 13% on the day, completely free falling, uh, you know, out of this channel that we talked about a couple of videos ago. We have Coinbase, they reported earnings, I believe. Uh, I forget when was that, the day before or when that was, the day before uh, yesterday or was it yesterday? Either way, they did gap EPS of 14 cents. Sales came in at 1.45 versus $1.39 billion. And it looks like Coinbase is starting to fall under this channel, the horizontal channel it's been trading in, which is not the best sign in my opinion, but we'll see uh, you know, how that ends up playing out. So Coinbase not looking so pretty. Rivian down 7%, not looking good. Tesla, guys, is falling, free falling back under two, uh, 200, 205 bucks per share. Now we're at 190. The stock went down over 4%. So another call that we got right. I told you guys uh, there's, there was just no way that Tesla was going to hold the mid-high 200s. And boom, we're back under 200. I am not surprised. I can't say I'm surprised, guys. <clears throat> I saw this coming uh, from a mile away. So... Yeah, crazy times that we're living in. There's a lot of stocks getting hit, a lot of stocks that are becoming interesting deals. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Run the likes up. Make sure to subscribe and get your free stocks from Moomoo up to 20 stocks with at least a $100 deposit. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfast.com slash Moomoo. It's free money, guys, and it also helps out the channel. I appreciate you all as always. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.